I still, in my head, think I can go and run if I wanted to. After the first bout of COVID, be walking the dog, and my, I would be thinking, when did this become so difficult? My official diagnosis is ME-CFS, which is chronic fatigue syndrome or myalgic encephalomyelitis. Just a simple, straightforward name. The main story is, for most people with ME-CFS and long COVID, they were well, busy, active, leading a normal life, and then they got sick, and now they can't function as they used to be able to. There's so much mom guilt that I had because I couldn't do what I used to do. One of the difficult parts about ME-CFS and long COVID is that patients look okay from the outside. It's like calling the fire department when your house is actually burning down and having them say, mm, I don't buy it. Eventually I became so unwell that I had to go to the ER twice in one weekend. Thank God my sister came in to check on me because my lips and fingernails were blue and that's when she called 911. That was so scary, that was so scary. When the uh, COVID pandemic began, uh, Dr. Bateman and I published a paper predicting basically that in the United States alone, it was likely that several million new cases of an illness very much like ME-CFS was unfortunately likely to be caused by the COVID pandemic. Uh, of course, that illness is now called long COVID. Quite a lot of very senior physicians don't actually recognize this as a real condition. The doctor may incorrectly assume that there is a problem with the person's thinking. We're seeing the same thing happen with those with long COVID and it breaks my heart to think that they're going through the same disbelief. My symptoms were dismissed every time simply because nothing would show up on the test results. The same gaslighting. Have you tried um, therapy? the same lack of resources, the same lost and vulnerable feeling that my family went through. One last laugh to keep from crying. I think the more you share that pain, the more others help you carry it. When I get on the call with all of you, with members of Congress, and, and I hear those stories, and the members hear those stories, and the staff, Hear those stories that they're powerful and then i started to realize that i was not alone everyone was talking about the same symptoms that they were having i was like whoa we can design studies that now connect these different trends in these patients understanding the interaction of all of these abnormalities is going to be what leads to both better diagnostic tests and ultimately to cures we all want to have a sense of agency and control over our future. Any sense of that, I think any sense of that can keep us going and yeah, and I think I think that's why that's why I'm here.